Welcome back, welders and weldettes. This is a project I did last year. A local contractor had bent the strong arms on his grading box, needed this turnaround back right away so he could finish his project, sent me this picture. Hey, can you fix this? Yeah, sure, why not? So you're probably wondering, how does this happen? Well, I think the grader box was a little light duty for the size of the tractor he was using. You know, you gotta do what you can with the equipment you got. So, stuff like that happens, that's where a guy like me steps in. We can fix this. I could have made new arms also. This was over the weekend, the guy needed it back. I couldn't get steel fast enough. So it was just quicker to straighten these arms and then box them in with some angle iron. So a rosebud on an oxygen acetylene torch made heat in this real quick work. Try to keep it even, kept putting in the vise. Bend this, bend that, let one piece cool, work the other piece until you get it back to look in as factory as you can. You know, it's never gonna be perfect, but it'll be better. Like I say, does that have to be good or can it be good enough? I wasn't too worried about weakening the integrity of the steel. Two inch by quarter inch angle going on it, these things weren't gonna buckle again. And when you do something like this, you're, you're eliminating one weak point, but it's gonna move somewhere else. So now these won't bend anymore, but the bolts that hold these to the frame are probably next in line to snap. Once I get the two pieces looking pretty straight and parallel, bolt them back on the machine. Now I can get my measurements for the angle iron that'll run with them and then a piece finally that'll go perpendicular to them. I mean, look at that. It almost looks factory. Everything's been cut. All the paint on the strong arm and paint and rust on the angle have been ground off so you have a nice clean surface to weld on. I start welding this down with 7018 332 for the first pass. Clamping and welding and hammering as I go, trying to make sure this strong arm is going to be as straight as it can be or as straight as it's going to be. After the first pass is done and cleaned up, I jump to a 1A 7018 lay that in there as a nice cap. Now we know it's not going anywhere. I did jump back and forth between each arm, welding, basically burning one rod in each corner, let that one cool a little bit, weld on the other one, just keep swapping them out so you don't put too much heat into one. Not that it should really affect this, but depending on what you're working on, it's a good practice to get into if it can't take the heat, you don't want to put too much heat into something. Once both strong arms have the angle welded to them, I bolt them back on the grater box. Now I can get my measurement for the brace that's going to go in there and then cope that angle iron so it fits. Once the uh, brace is in and I'm happy, hit it with some 7018 1/8, 100% weld that. Now we're looking good. Now the contractor didn't ask me to, but I decided to pull this off and paint it so it just looks nice. I don't like giving people bare metal back unless they want it. I had a little bit of time left, so this got a fresh coat of some caterpillar yellow, and it looks like it's never happened. Everything gets bolted back together. Put a little dot of some medium strength Loctite on all the bolts. That should also help. And this piece is ready to go back in action. There she is, all hooked up, ready to go. He's happy, I'm happy. Thank you guys for watching. I greatly appreciate it. If you guys wanna support the channel, you can go to metzcoshop.com. That's where I have stickers, shirts, couple hoodies, clothes for tradesmen, by tradesmen. Usually with funny, catchy sayings. At least, I think so. If you liked the video, hit like. Hell, even if you didn't like the video, hit like. 
If you have any comments or suggestions, I'd be happy to hear them. Leave those in the comments. I usually get back to people pretty quick. And if you can't get enough of me, you can follow me on Facebook and Instagram at Metals by Mets. There you can see other projects I've done, some more artistic stuff, some crafty stuff, but all metal work. Uh, so thanks for watching and stay tuned for more videos. Thank you.